great pleasure for me to be associated with this year's uh, celebrations. And uh, on behalf of the board and I, the managers and I, I wish uh, everyone a happy International Women's Day. I think the focus this year really uh, should be, shouldn't just be about celebrating the day, but it should really be about doing what we can such that this cele the celebration of an International Women's Day itself becomes obsolete. Uh, and it's really about focusing on what we can do to make, uh, to drive this, uh, this obsolete. Uh, the theme is also, I think, speaks to that very well. Uh, choose to challenge. Uh, choose to challenge for me means that for every action there is an equal and opposite consequence. So uh, my takeaway from there is that every step and every decision I make in this matter today really should be one towards building an environment where uh, we have gender parity and are not uh, victimized over some lottery of chromosome or anything like that. Um, I also saw highlights from the uh, 2020 gender gap report and the shocking piece in there is that apparently it's going to take about 100 years for us to start to see gender parity. Uh, this, the consequences of this, of this to me is, uh, is, is, is unbelievable because it means that as a father of two girls uh, under the age of 20, uh, it means that they may not actually see gender parity in their own, in their own life, lifetime. That's, that's worrying. Uh, the view internally at AP is, uh, is very clear. We believe women play a large role in helping us build a sustainable workplace. Um, as a company, we are very committed and focused on, on driving gender balance. Our focus and our commitments uh, hasn't gone unnoticed. And uh, earlier this year, I was happy to be invited to and to participate in the Nigeria to Equal program for gender balance. Uh, this is a program that has been put together by the NSC and the IFC towards making sure that, the, that gender balance is at the forefront of discussions in the workplace. But just to mention that only 30, uh, 30 companies were invited to that session, so I felt very privileged to be a part of it. Um, secondly, uh, we are running a graduate uh, recruitment program, and it's really a source of great pride and pleasure for me to report that were able to manage a 50-50 gender balance. And that didn't happen by accident. We were very purposeful and deliberate about how we recruited without compromising the quality of the of the candidates. And to close, I think it's important to recognize that things haven't changed. There is a lot to do, but I think the idea behind Choose to Challenge is to make sure that you feel empowered to lead from wherever you are within society, within an organization. It's possible to lead from the back, it's possible to lead from the middle, and it's certainly much easier to leave on the front. At AP, we believe that charity begins with each and every one of us. And you have my assurance that for as long as I'm here, we will remain committed to driving the celebration of International Women's Day into obsolescence. Thank you.